first of all, just explain how this, this loan move came about when you found out about it. Yeah, I would say we, we flirted already before a little bit and um, yeah, it was um, always an option and um, now um, finally I'm, I'm very, very happy that it um, became reality, that we could uh, make this deal happen. So I'm absolutely happy to be here and can't wait to get going. Did you have other options as well or was it Celtic or did you choose Celtic over? Well, the, the, the story is uh, there was uh, in the past some rumours already because uh, a good friend of mine is, uh, is a really, really big Celtic supporter. So whenever there was something in the newspaper, it landed straight on my phone. But um, yeah, uh, there were other options as well. But um, I have to be honest, uh, to play for a club like Celtic, to, to, to play for trophies, to, to, to finish first of a league, um, yeah, and even I think to play international, um, there was... Uh, was my number one, of course, and that's why I've chosen, or was I'm very delighted to be able to choose Celtic. What can the fans expect from you? Uh, they can expect um, a very hard worker. Um, I'm maybe not the most talented guy, but uh, I make it up with work. Um, I, um, I, I like to play attacking football. Um, I bring some pace, I bring some dynamics um, into the game. And um, I'm very, um, I can be very euphoric on the pitch. So, um, I, and I think that's why as well, uh, the atmosphere will really suit me. And of course, yeah, uh, I want to make uh, the crowd proud. So I will put everything into it, what I have. You, you said you flirted before with Celtic. When was that? When, when was the chance to come here previously? Well, I was never di directly involved, to be honest. I just <laughs> um, heard, of, obviously, from my, from my friend that there were always rumours. And to be honest, I focus more likely uh, to the work on, on the pitch, so um, I have to maybe call the agents or my agent into in, into the, the club how far we already proceeded there, but uh, obviously we had already a good, tank, good contact before, and so I'm, I'm very delighted now that um, it's finally happened. What have the guys at Stoke said to you about this move and what they expect from you and what they want when you come back? Well, uh, after the uh, announcement there was uh, a phone full of con congratulations, obviously, uh, because everyone knows uh, it's not uh, it's, it's not like okay he just went around the corner. Celtic is a historical, really, really big club, and it's it's quite an honor to wear these um, these colors. And so everyone is very happy for me, and um, but none of them is as happy as I am myself. So yeah, um, there were a lot of congratulations and uh, best of luck. Because as I said, I think because you mentioned before to play in a big league, I think. It's, 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 it's also interesting to, to finish in a big league 10th or 9th as a season target, but here you have um, so many trophies to win, you can finish first, you battle um, for the top, top uh, place in the league in, and you want to win every competition you go into and that's, that's I think, what the footballer want to play for. And so I'm looking very, very forward to be a part of that. Has it been difficult the last season or so when you've been in and out of the team? Yeah, well, um, um, I arrived in, in, in January in the Premier League when we've still been in the Premier League. And I made all the games there as well in the Premier League. Unfortunately, we suffered their relegation, but uh, it was already before a little bit like um, a, a difficult environment. And um, so last season, obviously, for everyone which supported Stoke, played for Stoke, was involved in Stoke, was a very, very disappointing season. Uh, we were nowhere near our own expectations, we were nowhere near uh, the, the, the region or even the, the people from outside's expectations. So I think it makes no sense um, to, 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 to speak about the past there because there was just like a big disappointment. I wish, of course, um, much, much better luck and better success this season. But uh, I'd rather now focus on, 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 the, on, on, the, uh, on, on the project I had and put my energy into it. Dan Fletcher there when you, you were at Stoke? Yeah, well, we, we even drove sometimes. Um, we drove sometimes together to the training ground. He was ov ov obviously one of the first person who congratulated me for that transfer. Uh, even the other one, uh, which was just <laughs> uh, some, some uh, Nicky messages, was like um, Charlie Adam, who played for the other side, obviously. He texted me already as well. So, no, there's, is there, uh, even Flash is a, is a very big player. I, I learned from him a lot as well, as is Charlie Adam. But um, they know the Scottish football as well, and everyone said um, you will really enjoy. Uh, you can be really proud and you can be really feel happy to be here. It's a big opportunity.
Well, it's simply it's because of a little fixtures quite early on, you know, quick big games tomorrow night and then Sunday. Are you ready to go straight away? Is there any fitness problems or are you ready to go straight into the starting order? I am, I am. No, I, uh, even though I, I, I didn't make the, the friendly games with, with Stoke, but I made a proper pre-season. I did individual... Uh, Individual trainings, um, yeah. Because as I mentioned, I, I have to work hard, and um, I I want to to work hard. That's 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 my uh, that that's that's who I am, and uh, so I think I'm ready. Even like um, it was a funny story when I joined for uh, Stoke. There I was in Russia, and it was uh, straight out out of the the winter break, the long winter break, and I signed Tuesday for Stoke and made Monday the Old Trafford debut. Everyone was doubting me as well if it's gonna. If it's gonna work, but it worked really well, and so I hope uh, I, I can repeat that again. So I feel very ready. I feel very fit. Obviously, um, it's uh, I, I need to adapt to the team, but uh, whichever role I have, then uh, I will put everything what I have in, into it. What did the manager Neil Lennon say to you about coming to join Celtic? We had a really, really good phone call, obviously, before uh, uh, I came up here, and now even in the morning we had a, a long chat. Um, yeah, he has high expectation. He has uh, um, high targets. We aim high, and um, I, 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 I come for this to learn from him. He's attacking football. Um, I like the way he sees the football. I like the way he practice or let practice the football. His uh, style of play. He've, he's proven already last season that he he's very successful. And so I like to, to learn from him and his staff with Damien Duff uh, as well. Maybe one or the other um, can give me an input as well to grow as a player and to, to, to grow as a person as well. Is this completely new for you? Have you played against Scottish teams before? Have you been to Scotland before? Or is this completely new? To be honest, no. It's it's first time uh, uh, I've been in Scotland and uh, first time I've been uh, obviously in Celtic Park. It was as well the story with uh, my mom. She She's probably the most buzzing, so she always said when I started to play football, she w want to be once in Enfield Road and wants to be in uh, Celtic Park. So Enfield Road, uh, she was already attending when we played with Stoke there, and now probably she can be even more than only once <laughs> be a part of the Celtic crowd. Your mom said that your mom is yeah, yeah, yeah. nationality? She's the Swiss one. She's the Swiss one, and my father is the Aust Austrian. Why is your Swiss mother talking about Celtic? Well, I don't know because I think she just really enjoys the atmosphere. She she really likes to be in the crowd and uh, have this this electric feeling. And I think well, there's no no better crowd than the Celtic Park. It's over. This rumor came as well across Europe or across Switzerland that you have a fantastic crowd up here. And is that your experience now that you've been in football? How well aware of Celtic's history and achievements were you when you were making your own way as a, as a footballer and, and what do you think now, now that you're physically in the building? Well, uh, when, when, when I was there in the morning, you, you have quite a big trophy cabinet, so um, I'm, I'm well aware uh, what, what, what you achieved the, the, the last couple of years, even with the triple triple is, is an amazing achievement. And well, so you come here to, 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 to play for even more trophies. That's that's what it's all about um, as a footballer, and you know, of, of obviously, from the Champions League, the legendary nights, and uh, of some YouTube clips as well, the atmosphere up here, and even now when I when when I looked at the phone when it was announced, everyone said you can't even imagine until you really have been part of it, what's going on there, and uh, so I'm really looking forward to to it and be I'm very proud of it. The manager admitted that he was wanting to bring in defenders during this transfer window. Are you ready for that fight, the competition that's going to face you when you go into that Celtic squad? There's a lot of players in that squad at the moment who, who are performing well. Are you going to have to, to play well to break into that starting eleven, I suppose? Of course, no, I'm, 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 I'm well aware of that. Um, but uh, as, as I mentioned, um, I, I, I want to bring something on the table. I want to, I want to be part of that squad. I want to be, uh, be an improvement. And I think um, they, they, they put a lot of trust in me, so I want to, to, to pay back double as trust as they gave me back to this club and uh, yeah, to, to, to spend a fantastic time up here. And um, so I think this positive pressure what we have here, um, it, it's, it can give us uh, even an extra lift. The first league game could be the old firm derby at Ibrox. How have you heard the old firm derby before? Have you experienced that? Have you watched on TV? Have you any? I watched it a couple of times at the, on, on TV and as well like our former coach Paul Lambert uh, in Stoke City um, was telling us about <laughs> it uh, day in day out so yeah 
it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be I think an amazing now uh, with the change of the of the ticketing it's a, it's a bit of a different situation so it's even in a away away derby but uh, yeah I'm, I'm I'm looking very 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 forward um, to be to be part of that derby in whatever role um, I am then on that weekend. Paul Lambert's a legend of this club. Has he spoken to you about this move already? Have you managed to catch up with? Uh, he just like he he and his staff. Obviously, I still have a good contact to them uh, after their uh, time in Stoke. And yeah, we made some message, and I I have to give him a call to, today in the evening. I promised to him. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.